Hello, this is Hockey Bean, and today we are going to level 300 of the Backrooms. If you like this video, please like, leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get right into this. Level 300. Survival difficulty, class 2. It's unsafe, but secure, and has a low entity count. Level 300 is the 301st level of the Backrooms. It was discovered on November 29, 2012 by a group of wanderers. Description. Level 300 is mainly composed of an immaculate number of boardwalks, hovering several feet above a bright forest and winding rivers. It takes place on a presumed infinite plane. Level 300 has a fully working in in day-night cycle, identical to the one in the front rooms. However, there have been no recorded moons or celestial bodies after dark, resulting in pitch black darkness being present throughout all of the level during the night. The temperature of the level varies between 20 degrees Celsius and 27 degrees Celsius, or 68 degrees Fahrenheit to 81 degrees Fahrenheit. And the climate is slightly windy and cloudy. Level 300 is rather scarce on entities. However, due to the current lack of research, there are possibilities of other lurking entities that are yet und undocumented. NC 155 instances live in the Rainbow Waterfalls and surrounding areas, though there are not many of them left. NC 43 or Wormlings usually hide under rocks in the uh, uh, Rainbow Waterfalls, although some have been undocumented crawling on the boardwalks as well. If the nest of where links are located, it is best advised to eliminate them. A singular instance of a death rat or NC24 was reported by a wanderer in the boardwalks. Non entity living beings include bacteria and small insects from the front rooms on most of the rocks in the Rainbow Waterfalls. We will talk about what the Rainbow Waterfalls are in a minute. The boardwalks. There is an incalculable number of boardwalks. Board paths or bridges on level 300. Most of these boardwalks are dead ends, typically interrupted by common hills, when bridges of level 300 are always straight and never veer off. After further research, it was confirmed that these wooden paths are, are atomically precise, meaning that they do not uh, turn even by a fraction of a, of a degree. Though possible to be broken, the planks that make up these boardwalks are abnormally strong. A single plank can hold roughly 800 kilograms, with these planks themselves hovering at most 20 feet above ground level. These boardwalks intersect with each other approximately every 20 kilometers. The boardwalks along the further mentioned area named the Rainbow Waterfalls are considered the only safe places on this level. The Forest and the River the forest of level 300 is considered to be the most dangerous part of this level. This is the purpose behind the boardwalks being present throughout the level. The ground, the trees, and their branches, which are almost always near the boardwalks, are actually non-corporeal. The wanderer's hands can pass through them without any difficulty. However, solid ground areas are above the level of the boardwalks. For example, hills are fully corporeal and can't be passed through. Upon discovery, level 300 was initially believed to be comprised of an unknown number of rivers. However, further examination has shown on it to be made of just one. It is assumed to be at least 500, 5 million kilometers long. No headwater or mouth of the river has been found on yet, and because of the assumed infinity of level 300. An overwhelming majority of wanderers who have visited the level have attempted to climb over the bridges to examine the forest or the river. However, in all these cases, this has led to their sudden disappearance. It is theorized that there is no actual ground on level 300 and that all of the wanderers have fallen into an endless abyss instead of no cliffing into different end levels, as no one has ever heard from them again. The Rainbow Waterfalls The Rainbow Waterfalls is a name given to a certain area of level 300 which has a noticeable effect of giving almost all natural objects, trees, plants, human skin, etc., different colors of the rainbow. 
These colors are unnaturally bright and vivid. They constantly change with mesmerizing in patterns. The length of a cycle lasts anywhere from 15 seconds to several hours. What causes this effect is currently unknown. Wonders have reported an increased happiness when exploring this part of the level. It was confirmed that the leaves of the colorful trees are edible and have a strong marmalade flavor. Unlike in the forest, the trees of the Grand Wild Falls are corporeal. It will be elaborated later. Even them even further increases the happiness of the wanderer. They'll be cautious as eating more than four in a serving results in an overdose on rainbow leaves and a sudden cardiac arrest. A singular rainbow leaf can make you well fed for half the, half the day. To avoid this effect, it's recommended to grind them in a bowl and or mix them in a blender, as drinking the leaves does not give any effects. The leaves can also have multiple different tastes. As human skin is a natural material as well, it has different tastes too, however, it is not recommended to try to consume it. All of their tastes seems to depend on the color on their color when the water bites into them. The table of all the tastes of the grain bell leaves it is presented below. When it's red, it is slightly spicy and has a long aftertaste. Can be compared to pepper. When it is orange, it is slightly sweet and sour. Has a short aftertaste. Can be compared to orange. When it's yellow, it's very sour and has a long aftertaste. Can be compared to apple cider or, or vinegar. Green, no taste. No comparison, but I think the best comparison would be water then. Blue is very minty and has a short aftertaste. And compare it to mint. Violet is very fruity and has a short aftertaste. Can we compare it to blueberry? The Rainbow Waterfalls is the only stable part of level 300, where anyone can freely walk on the ground without the danger of falling into the abyss. Large boulders, strong mineral rocks, huge trees, and cliffs make up the landscape of the Rainbow Waterfalls. The water is required to be impure, however it can be consumed if untreated. During the day, waterfalls function as normal due to them not being affected by the Rainbow Effect of level 300. However, when the sun fully sets and no light is visible, the waterfall begins to glow in all colors of the rainbow, forming an extraordinary view. During this state, the water from the waterfall seems to flow at least 10 times faster than usual, which means that an abundance of water vapor is dispersed into the air, making the entire area also glow in a different array of colors while emanating a slight marmalade smell. This is the only period of time when the wanderer can exit level 300. Those who were able to it say that there is a kilometer long cave behind the waterfalls that gradually progresses into level 173. Little to no light gets into the cave and waterers need to be careful not to trip over or hit the walls. The cave is also quite narrow and as you pass through, one may find themselves having to squeeze, having to crawl and squeeze through themselves, squeeze themselves into tight spaces as the size of the cave decreases. The process of leaving in this level is unjustly difficult due to the fact that it is nearly impossible to pass through the waterfalls because of the extremely strong water flow. Broken bones and other injuries have been dealt by people trying to pass through it. It seems that so up to three seconds in the current the waterfall is strong enough to cause permanent damage. The boardwalks slightly change their details the closer you are to the rainbow waterfalls. The planks become, um, uh, usually become thinner, and the railings of the boardwalks become noticeably thicker. Despite this, no exact path has been confirmed to lead exactly to the rainbow waterfalls. Bases, outposts, and communities. The waterfall residence. It is the only known community on level 300. There are approximately 4 to 8 members in this group. The side to stay in the Graver Waterfalls of level 300 because of the presence of all the needed resources to support life. 
open to trade, and we'll let you join them. They are unarmed. They built three small huts on the cliffs it's quite deep in the area. The huts are small and not well furnished, but quite cozy. There is also a small guest house nearby. All newcomers can stay in there for as long as they, they want. They give a helpful old pieces of advice to newcomers and usually show the only way to exit if one, the wanderer asks. Entrances and exits. Entrances. There are currently only three known ways to enter this level. Some paths of level 39 might have, have a few round planks lying on their sides. Standing on them usually occasionally low clips you to level 300. No clipping through the trees in level 140 might drop you onto a boardwalk of level 300. Entering through some holes in the walls of level 797 leads to level 300. Exits. There is currently only one known way to exit this level. Venturing into one of the waterfalls of level 300 brings you to a long cave that needs, leads to level 173. It has been noted that exiting this level is near impossible. Unless the water ever finds a way to the rainbow waterfalls, they are most likely going to die of thirst or starvation. That was level 300 of the backrooms. If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe so you can see more. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!